And uh, let's check out the chicken, if you like. Uh, how's it going, Brian? It's going good here. We're just mm. we, we're uh, doing great with the onions over there. <laughs> Are we? Yeah. Yep, Suleiman has never chopped an onion in his life. <laughs> and as of yet, he's tickled one, but he's getting there. <laughs> Going to be fine. There's nothing like a tickle down I've never even thought crying yeah. when you... And what are you doing here, Chef, with the pineapple? Uh, I'm just going to get this ready for sweet and sour. It'd be mm. more pineapple than sweet and sour, but we've got some tomato ketchup there and some soy sauce, so we make a nice little... OK. Bit of good bit there. Nice so and get that. Always, uh, would you recommend sort of fresh pineapple every time or a tinned pineapple equally good for yeah. kind of casual food? It's in here, absolutely. Look, I've got rice on here. I know it's basmati rice, but we're going to actually make a basmati uh, pineapple rice pudding. Mm. So we're, uh, we've got two lots of rice on cooking here, one seasoned, one in double cream. Yes. Yeah. OK, so first... Lovely. Let's get this... It's all so the chicken together. on there. I'm going to put that yeah. bit of chicken... I'm going to do two in one pan. OK, you're going to stir that off. So I can separate it later this? on. It's interesting, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, slowly, slowly, slowly. Is it slowly? Yeah, like I just... I'd, lo I'd hate... Oh, should we do a bit of dancing? Do you fancy a bit of dancing? Do you want to see a bit of dancing, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah! Yes. Let's finish come on then, you lot. Shall I hey, Andrew, like come it? on. <laughs> Don't worry about crushing those. I want you both out here. Come on, let's okay, go and have a little bit of a dance. Just to remind you of what these guys were like on Britain's Got Talent, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to come to OK, take it away. <laughs> Signature! <laughs> come about then you know you, then you're dancing you've entertained the nation but this yeah. doesn't just happen overnight did you club together or no exactly we well uh, me and Madhu met each other around eight years ago in 2000, 2000 at university we were both auditioning for uh, for a talent show mm -hmm. and we saw each other and we thought we could work together and so we've been doing that particular routine for about uh, the last seven years mm. so it's not something that happened overnight whatsoever but you know we went on the show and it, and it just took off and everyone seemed to enjoy it and everybody it seemed to enjoy yeah. it and, you know one minute ladies and gentlemen they're just <laughs> what were you doing you were actually studying a computer course were you no i was a tra i'm a trainee lawyer a I, trainee I'm lawyer still a trainee lawyer he was yeah. a computer man he was working uh, yeah he was a computer so man, you right. started off as a trainee lawyer didn't that's you? right uh, mm -hmm. uh, mum would have killed me i said to my mum i would love to do this as a living or something mm. go on stage and she said look do your law, do your university, do your degree, and then you can do whatever you like. So she's not, she's alright now. She's not too bad. Yeah, we're going to be talking some more, Tim, a little bit later. So we've got a nice creamed rice pudding here. Going You're going to put some pineapple in a minute, but mm -hmm. that's on its way. Okay, we're cooking the basmati rice over here to okay. go with our. And what's the secret curry? here, Brian? It's a cream and milk. You put that in with the uh, just the natural rice grains and just bring that to the boil. Yeah, you? but you know you wouldn't really cook it quite like that. You'd often pre-cook it mm -hmm. in water and then put the double cream. We ain't got the time here. Okay, to incorporate. So it, we. Right, I just put it straight in. I put a bit of milk in there, a bit of okay. water in there. Lovely. So we've got and those ready to go. Opera. Okay, that's going to go. be... So we're looking good here. Now, right, okay. now, this one's going to be our curry. Mm. I'm going to get all the flavours in here at the same time. So this young man has done chicken du piazza. Do you know what chicken du piazza yeah. is? Um, I, um, no. Oh, well, <laughs> in that case, it's easy, because if I tell you, you can't argue. Yeah. As I understand it, du piazza is lots of onions. Yeah. Double oh, onions. Oh, yes, yeah. So we've got bags yeah. of onions there. Lovely. Okay, nice Then we've piazza. got... Uh -huh. A few, this bit here. Do you want to just squash a few of those yeah, and bring some garlic over as well, please? There we are, mate. Here's your just pepper Just get a bigger knife. And, oh, no, that's there, there you go. OK, put, put, put them in there. Put them in there. Yeah, put them in here like that. That's OK. okay squash and squash these. those up. I think he's got some this. cumin seeds there. I've got some cumin seeds there. I'm just going to put those in as they are. Bit okay. of turmeric, because I love that colour. Mm -hmm. Bit of curry powder. OK. Work well. The lang that's cooked down. Yeah, that's right. In an lang. ideal world, Chef, you'd like to marinate your meat and cook it down really slowly, wouldn't you? In an ideal world, every time Ready, Steady, Cook phone up, you say, I'm sorry, I'm busy. But you can't, <laughs> so you're here. You can't marinate anything in 20 minutes, mate. Oh, shut up. What's he like? Get out of here. <laughs> we'll come back and see Brian in a moment. We left Paul with all those wonderful spices that he's going to incorporate into the mincemeat. But about 11 uh, minutes to go. Tell us cool. what you did put in there, Chef. Um... <clears throat> As I was talking about before, mm -hmm. 
the uh, the cumin and the coriander, a uh -huh. uh, little bit of ginger. Uh, we're going to whack some cardamom now into the meat. Now cardamom is a wonderful spice, um, but you just need to crack the little pods to release those yeah, lovely seeds. Yeah, those lovely seeds. So that's going to go in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got the chickpea curry going here. So the base is the same: the onion, the garlic, the ginger, coriander, etc. But I've got the cardamom going in this one. Okay. Uh, this one I want a little bit more yellow and not not quite so hot. A little bit of turmeric going in there. Okay. The boy likes it nice and hot. So right, we're, we are the, halfway, gentlemen. Halfway. With the chilies, we're just sort of mm -hmm. whacking them in there with all those seeds in. In India, quite often, they'll put the chilies in with the seeds, maybe just cut them in half or in thirds, and then you can pick them out if you want. Isn't that kind of how you I do it? There. It adds a sort of base heat, and then you can just kind of pick them out. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily need to be always really searing no, hot, does no, it? No, absolutely. Sometimes yeah, yeah. a little bit of subtlety uh, comes into play yeah. with Indian cuisine, and as I, I've said many times, each different state in India has their own curry. Absolutely. Like, you've got all the different states of America, it's the same that applies to India. Okay, so... Um, Computer boy, originally. I think we met each other at Heathrow Airport many, many moons ago, didn't we? We did. Yeah. It, it has changed dramatically. And how has it changed for you? It is difficult to go shopping because you have about seven or eight people watching what you're doing. And I can't even buy my mum underwear now. Mum has to do it. There you go. One minute you're, you're, you're at home or you're working down at Heathrow Airport. And the next minute you're going off to Millionaire Row over in Dubai performing. <laughs> it's, it's, how, it's, did, it's, how did that grasp you? What, what did you feel like? But again, I mean... If I start thinking about it too much, I don't want it to get to my head as well. Yeah. I'd rather keep my feet firmly on the ground. Sure. Uh, okay, and uh, what I want to do is try and make up the uh, the uh, chapati batter. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're going to... Uh, okay, we've got seven minutes to go here. Look at this. Self-raising. Lots of sizzling going on here. Sorry, sorry. Very yeah. aromatic. Can you smell that guy? Mm. Well, no, we'll try okay. half and half. A little bit of salt, a little okay. bit of oil. Okay. okay. Now, I don't want you to be confused, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of different things going on here. So if you do want any of the recipes the chefs are creating, please check out our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash food, all right? Lovely. Now, all right. Uh, now, Paul, anything uh, new you're going to be telling me? What are we making here, chef? Uh, I'm just going to try and make, make a little chapati. Make it? a little quick chapati. Uh, okay. or, no, not chapati. A little, little quick um, uh, sort of pakora type thing. Uh-huh. Just, uh, I'm just trying it out. Let's put some crushed chickpeas in there. No, I don't want that. What do I want? Water. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of turmeric in there for colour, which I don't have yet. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of water. Okay. And I think I need what did I do with the turmeric? Uh, turmeric. Uh, okay, well, just put a bit of paprika in. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you call improvisation, isn't it? Eh? We all do this at home. You haven't got something, use something else. You want to introduce a lovely bit of flavour into it. We'll come back and see his pakora in a moment. But uh, first up, let's see how Solomon's getting on here with Brian, who has done uh, a tempura of okra. Nice, yeah. crunchy uh, okra. How's it going there, Brian? Fantastic. <laughs> now, what, what about the uh, tempura? Simple, you dip them through a little bit of uh, corn flour uh -huh. first, then into the uh, little batter. There we are, mate. Right. Just roll those around a little bit. Okay, there okay. you go, those. So you can, you can see them. Go. Yeah, just nice and gently roll them. Go on, lift it up, be firm. That's it, roll them cool. around. Can you see how they're crispy? Yeah. That's it, roll those. Ah, right, yes. yeah. Yeah. I'm getting a feel for that now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it feels good. Mm. Yeah, Michael Jackson, do you sort of watch a video of him and think, yeah, I yeah. should do that? Well, I never thought I could do that. What it, I mean, I'm a kid of the 80s, so what it was is that every child at school wanted to be like Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, and I just went home and I used to watch the videos, put it on slow motion, um, pause it while everyone else was playing football outside. I used to go home and literally study the videos like it was some sort of homework. Um, yeah, and I just never grew out of it. Everyone, all my mates grew out of it slowly but surely, and it stuck with me all the way to university <laughs> from junior school. So, and did you used to go out and uh, show off a little bit and show everyone your moves? Uh, well, oh, for goodness sake, you're talking too loud. <laughs> <laughs> you blew each over. Uh, what's he like? <laughs> Terrible. Let's get a uh, bit of kitchen paper for you so you can uh, get those out because I think they're almost uh, yeah. ready. Well done, Chief. Okay. You're a good job. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. Who's pinched the cream? There you go. Um, you pop, 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 anybody see? The cream. There. Uh, there was no cream left, Chef. There was about a teaspoon of it left. Have you got any gone. cream spare, Chef? Uh, yeah, a little bit, if you're yeah, nice go on to then. me. Go on, clap him, clap him, get Brian. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Not, nothing like a little bit of an excitement yeah. uh, in the kitchen. This is okay. uh -huh. perfect. You do get. Now let me just taste that because it's hot. Yeah. Get this out. Of okay, we've got three minutes to go. We've got different. Uh, okra is free.